Remember the last time we were here, Wan? Yes! You asked what if, and the what if -er appeared. And oh, wait, wait, wait! What's a what if? -er? Now that's an interesting question. What is a what if? -er? The best way to find out is to ask me a question. What sort of question? A question like this. What if you kept on counting forever? It would earn the admiration of your friends. You might make it to a million in a fortnight. But how high could you get if forever never ends? What if you kept writing zeros after one? It's the same as if you multiply by ten. Pretty soon you'd reach a million again. What then? What then? What if you start with a single grain of rice? And double it, double it, double it every day. In a week, you'd have no more than a handful. In a month, you'd be giving it away. Stop the rice! Please stop the rice! What if the rice stopped? Interesting question. Ask me another. What if one could be divided into pieces? <laughs> Smaller parts like the slices of a cake. You could cut it into four or eight or sixteen. But is there any end to the fractions you could make? What if we tried to build a tower to the moon? Would it take a hundred years to reach the top? So you might not want to think about the drop. Huh? Don't stop. Don't stop. What if the number blocks each had a different name? Like New Fling Club! Flinty Bun. The amount you'd have to count would be no different. But you'd have to learn new words for everyone. Plus fling, plus plob, equals fun! What if three was the highest you could count to? <laughs> it's a question that could tie you up in nuts. Ugh. Counting sheep to get to sleep could be quite tricky. <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> plenty <laughs> many lots. <laughs> what if the number blocks all disappeared one day? Would one and two and three still equal six? You could count it using pebbles, blobs, or bricks. Or sticks. Good fix. What if there could be a number less than zero? You could draw it on a line to understand. Or imagine there's a lift that keeps on going. Negative one, negative two, negative three. How low could you go on the number land? What if everything was yellow? What if everything was flat? What if seven found a heptagon and wore it like a hat? What if one was made of jelly? What if two was made of cheese? What if beds were made of bubbles? What if pussies grew on trees? What if one was really massive? What if ten was really small? What if Numberland was upside down? Which way would we fall? What if you could spend forever in a world it never ends? On a wonderful adventure with your favourite number friends. There are many other questions you will find So say whatever pops into your mind There are many other mysteries that still remain unknown What if you thought up some questions of your own?